you see today may 9th morning shift evening shift papers are over papers m set that is called eap set engineering shift papers are over shift 1 and shift 2 how they have given how they have given how many marks you are expecting uh, i will tell you in telugu also so this uh, if you take today's paper overall you can say moderate to above moderate ante madhyastham nundi kodhe kadnatham varaku undi ee paper so now if you take carefully this uh, majority of the expected lines only the paper is there expected lines only paper is there particularly first if you take the chemistry an average student can easily attempt 25 questions average student can easily attempt 25 questions so if you take uh, all those who had done telugu academy book ncert book line to line easily they can attend average student easily they can attempt 25 questions including organic chemistry atomic structure chemical bonding then spdf blocks direct questions are given and in physical chemistry also problems are given direct very less problems are given and compared to first year second year questions occurred more all this is the student point of view from the students only i have taken uh, several students i asked how the paper came their analysis i'm telling so overall paper is very easy chemistry M in the mpc engineering stream chemistry is very very easy average student can attempt 25 questions and those who have done those who are preparing perfectly for the je mains and iit those who prepared also for the mains they can easily do 35 plus questions in the chemistry easily with a lesser time so more questions came from atomic structure chemical bonding periodic classification organic chemistry uh, spdf like as expected only, as expected only the game and uh, physical problems very less and the chemistry and the majestha ga unna average ga unna vidyarthi 25 marks sulabhanga cheyochu mottaniki overall ga mpc paper chuste majestha undi kodde kadanga undi kani chemistry lo 25 question easy ga cheyochu ade iit gaani mains gaani prepare ayina vidyarthi 35 plus marks ikkochu ala undi vaar paper now coming to physics in the physics if you take this is considered to be moderate not easy not hard it's a moderate an average student can attempt easily 20 question and majority of the problem it seems that 20 to 25 questions are direct formula based direct formula based with a small concept uh, <coughs> changes a small changes only. so almost those who know the concept those who know the formula they can apply 20 to 20 questions and uh, in the physics also uh, the majority of the easy questions are given from electrostatics current electricity thermodynamics magnetism electromagnetic waves uh, waves optical <coughs> optics and in mechanics also some easy questions are given this time and vectors of the physics also easy questions are given so in the morning and evening shift of 9th i am talking physics is overall it is a moderate and uh, in a normal student average student around 20 questions easily they can attempt in a iit oriented or je mains perfect student they can easily attempt 35 plus 35 plus questions easily this is the about the physics and uh, physics law 20 questions easy ga attempt chechu ade iit prepare ayina vidyarthi mains prepare ayina 25 35 plus mark le easy ga dichukochu idi madhyastham next coming to mathematics as expected every year also same thing for the last 3 years also mathematics they will give tough they will give lengthy but here what happened not tough we can say that uh, um, problems are easy and known only majority of the questions 60 to 65 60 questions around 60 questions are known methods are also known everything is known but calculations are lengthy so few questions calculations are lengthy that is the main means out of uh, 80 questions around 60 questions and uh, a topper can attempt easily 65 to 70 questions also in this time frame of the three hours whereas an average student can attempt around 40 questions. an average student can attempt only 40 questions because they are lengthy means methods are easy formula based also given around 10 to 15 direct formula based also given and uh, all major methods also given the thing is the calculation part numbers what they have given in the problem is a typical some calculations has taken to one question five uh, minutes also like that lengthy questions are given so those who are skipping that questions directly going to the next question they can easily attend more if they stuck up in that question it will take much time so mathematics around 40 questions easily reachable and uh, 65 to 70 maximum easily attempt they can attempt in the specified time so overall mathematics can say that it is a moderate to typical moderate to typical 
that is nothing but lengthy and time constraint ante ipudu and uh, majority of the questions came from majority of the mathematics questions came from trigonometry algebra that is nothing but a quadratic equation they have given more theory of equation they have given more permutation combination they have given more probability they have given binomial theorem they have given more and vector algebra they have given more circles pair of straight lines straight and more questions this is uh, the mathematics part అయితే మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ లో మనకి వృత్తాలు కానీ సరళ రేఖలు సరళ యుగ్మాలు తర్వాత సదస్య బేజ బీజగణితం అంటే వెక్టర్ ఆల్జీవ్ర తర్వాత క్వాడ్రాటిక్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ప్రొబబిలిటీ పర్మిటేషన్ ప్రస్తారాలు సంయోగాలు సంభావ్యత వెక్టర్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఇన్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఇన్ ది వెక్టర్ ఆల్జీవ్ర ఆల్సో యూ గాట్ మోర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దిస్ and uh, permutation probability already i told some more question and integral definite integral uh, they have given more but a lengthy questions lengthy questions this is the overall means mpc overall if you take uh, comparatively it is a above average paper above moderate not easy not moderate above average this is the overall today's morning and afternoon now depending upon this how the rank we may come now uh, today's morning and uh, afternoon means shift one shift two, uh, two papers after uh, taking the uh, different opinions of the students depending upon that paper the marks versus rank how much you are expecting that uh, say i always remember carefully as per that question papers the all the sessions are over then they will do normalization score the normal score and normalization score is different let us imagine if it is easy paper is there you got 120 marks then it may be normalized to 105 or to 110 if it is a hard paper 120 will become 125 that is a normalization score will take because all this if what happened the maximum number of maximum marks they will take minimum marks they will take and on average normalization like uh, say je means only they will do so after normalization score uh so only whatever i am i will share a screen you observe it in this uh, easily we can say easily we can say in this uh, screen whatever the marks i am giving you have to add plus or minus 5 we add plus or minus 5 and you can count it now if you take very carefully those who are getting today's morning and evening paper maximum marks i am expecting 148 to 150 then they will get a top one 1 to 10 rank whereas if you take uh, above 140 i can say that the rank will be below 100 next above 130 the rank will be 200 above 120 rank will be below 300 above 110 to 120 marks 110 to 120 marks means 110 means 800 rank whereas at, 120 marks means it is a 300 100 marks will give around 1500 rank 100 marks if you are getting it is a 1500 110 marks 800 110 marks that is 800 whereas above 90 to 100 if you take the rank means 90 marks if you get you will get around 3600 100 marks means 1500 already i told 80 marks means around 6000 and 70 marks means around 12000 60 marks means 20,000, 50 marks means 35, 40 marks means 50,000. These are the expected. And okay, sorry, this you have to remember one more point is, here I will say that depending upon the normalization, easier hard paper because another four sessions are there. After that, it will be known clearly. So we have to add plus or minus five marks to this. Plus or minus five marks to each one. Means, uh, if I take a 100, I told that 1500 rank, maybe easy paper means 100. If it is hard paper means 95. I will repeat again. Yeah, I told uh, here 110 ma 100 marks is equal to 1500 rank. I told in this. Uh, so if it is a hard paper, 95 marks only 1500 rank will come. If it is an easy paper, 105 marks also easy. Around 5 marks plus or minus will be there due to the normalization, easy and hard paper. That you have to remember. I think Pudu, Madam Morning May first morning shift, evening shift, round shift will prakaram. Uh pillar nundiskuna. Paper analysis prakarmo, view the Vijarthan in Karukunan, Dan prakarmo, last mood year no paper go to the rank allowed in the Juskunta, Garistanga, one forty eight to one fifty marks of cheap paper. Until one fifty was a top ten loaner. Atharvata, one forty 
అబౌవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్ కంటే బిలో ర్యాంక్ ఉంటుంది వన్ థర్టీ వస్తే రెండు వందల ర్యాంక్ వన్ ట్వంటీ వస్తే త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్ అదే వన్ టెన్ వస్తే ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్ హండ్రెడ్ వస్తే ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ నైంటీ వస్తే త్రీ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ ఎయిటీ వస్తే సిక్స్ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీ వస్తే ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్టీ మార్క్స్ వస్తే ట్వంటీ థౌసండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వస్తే థర్టీ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ ఫార్టీ మార్క్స్ వస్తే ఫిఫ్టీ థౌసండ్ అయితే దీనిలో ఒక్కటి గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి ఎందుకంటే పేపర్ నేను నార్మలైజ్ చేస్తాను అయితే ఇప్పుడు ఒకవేళ ఇప్పుడు ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హండ్రెడ్ మార్క్స్ వస్తే ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్ అని ఇచ్చాయి ఈజీ పేపర్ ఉంటే వన్ నాట్ ఫైవ్ మార్క్స్ అవుతుంది అది అదే హార్డ్ పేపర్ ఉంటే నైంటీ ఫైవ్ మార్క్స్కే ఆ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్ వస్తుంది ఇది గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి ఈ విధంగా ఉంటుంది అయితే ఈ ర్యాంకుల ప్రకారం ఏ కాలేజీలో ఏ విధంగా వచ్చింది లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ స్లైడింగ్ అయిన తర్వాత టోటల్ సీట్ అనాలిసిస్ ఒక త్రీ డేస్ లాస్ట్ ఎగ్జామ్ రోజు నేను పెట్టాను